Well, thanks for watching this episode of Answering the Call. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and executive producer. This is a series all about evangelism and discipleship, and we're highlighting ministries all around the world that are serious about doing just that. Today, we're in Salisbury, North Carolina, visiting Hood Theological Seminary, and with me is Dr. Virgil Lattimore, the president for the institution. Greetings. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, honored to be here. So when we talk about theological education and seminary, certainly uh, you're an institution that's equipping the saints for the work of ministry, and you guys have some history. So tell our viewers a little bit how Hood Theological Seminary started. Well, Hood Theological Seminary started uh, around um, in North Carolina, Concord, North Carolina, as a as Zion Wesley Institute, and it was uh, started by a group of African American uh, lay persons who were interested in being trained uh, as clergy, and they approached an institute there in Concord and were told that they weren't qualified to be trained, and so they decided to start their own uh, group that had been a discussion group, and they became Zion Wesley Institute, and uh, from there, uh, that institute folded after a few years but it was the citizens of Salisbury who offered them $1,000 mm. to move the institute to Salisbury, and they, uh, what became Zion Wesley Institute became Zion Wesley College. And uh, from that college, um, it later became Livingstone College, and uh, named after the famous uh, English uh, explorer, uh, physician, um, uh, David Livingstone, and so uh, Livingstone College became a chartered institute, and then uh, the, uh, the, they formed a, a theological school, a school of religion, uh, which became Hood, and later became Hood Theological Seminary in 18, 1885. That's yeah. Just, that's amazing. So, yeah. 130... 130 years yeah. ago, yeah. The yeah, making yeah. disciple and disciple makers. Right. Yeah. So. And we've been here uh, as an independent, uh, freestanding seminary that's approved by the University Senate, United Methodist Church, and the Association of Theological Schools. We've, we've been uh, about 20 years, we've been an independent school, an independent right. seminary. Yeah. So as the president for the organization, share with our viewers a little bit about the vision that God has given you for uh, the, next, the next part of this journey. Well, our vision is to be a... Um, uh, a place that trains uh, leaders, um, that focuses on uh, diverse, uh, diverse persons from a variety of, of theological backgrounds, faiths. Uh, we like to think that we are a place that reflects the kingdom of God in, in all of its variety and all of its uh, diversity and richness, differences, and so persons can come in and get a well-grounded theological education in order to have an impact on the world, particularly in the communities from which they come, whatever issues those communities are dealing with. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of your students are already in ministry They're already well. in ministry, yeah. yeah. Many of them already have been in ministry, or many of them have been in other forms that are non-traditional ministries, whether it's community, right. uh, agency, social service. Some have come out of social work, some have come out of emergency work, so uh, they come here with a sense that they now have a calling yeah. and to be in the pastoral ministry. Amen. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. So and a lot of them, not only that, have families and jobs. And so you guys are being able to uh, provide some different programs and study. Uh, yeah, we have the program. We have two tracks. We have a traditional track of persons who come during the day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday night. Uh, persons come and they're here also on Saturday. So again, and then some people may mix, may do, may mix the two given right. where they are in their lives and their jobs yeah. and their, uh, their families. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, stay tuned. We'll get some more interviews with some of the faculty and staff and some students who are plugged in here at Hood Theological Seminary, uh, being equipped for God's calling on their life. Well, thank you for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. We're in Salisbury, North Carolina at Hood Theological Seminary. With me, the president, Dr. Virgil Lattimore. So, Dr. Lattimore, when we talk about evangelism and sharing the gospel, how is the Lord using Hood to equip this next generation to be 
uh, well, evangelists? Well, we think evangelism is about three things, relationships, relationships, relationships. <laughs> and that I believe that if you look at the life of Jesus, that he not only addressed people at their point of need, but Jesus uh, met people where they were and developed a relationship with them based on those needs, but based on where they needed to go further. So in our, in our school, we, we have um, our doctoral ministry program has four tracks uh, that we've, we've added four tracks in the last few years. Theology and care, um, community action and social justice, and the last track we added was the clinical pastoral education supervision for people who supervise clinical, clinical people going into clinical pastoral education work. Right. So, and we've, we've created a center for chaplaincy here a, about two years ago based on a grant that we got from the Association of Theological Schools and the Luce Foundation. Uh, we believe that persons, everybody doesn't belong in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there are many ways in which the word of God can be uh, can be uh, uh, meet people, whether it's in corrections or right. it's in the community, if, if it's in substance abuse. I mean, there are a number of other ways in right. which persons, the gospel can be yeah, transmitted, can be transmitted. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, certainly the spoken word is, 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 is the most popular, mm -hmm. but there are many ways, I think John Wesley said, um, some of the best sermons are ones that don't use words, so that persons can use actions, loving actions, mm -hmm transforming actions. I call it redemptive relationships yeah. that persons can um, make a difference in the lives of their members and their families uh, in, in, many, in, in many creative ways. Yeah. yeah. Your life's got to line up to be able to talk about this death and resurrection of Jesus yeah. Christ and how yeah. he paid for your sins. Sure. You don't want to live that hypocritical mm -hmm. life. So. And some of it may be that, that, that persons are, you meet their needs. I mean, it's sort of Jesus uh, saying, you know, when that I was in prison and you visited me. In right. other words, the word is always preached to them, mm -hmm. but then in some ways the loving action is given to them. Demonstrated. And they, know, and they now know that they, that they are cared about. Amen. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews talking about evangelism and some of the projects and programs that lend itself to sharing the gospel worldwide. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us. Well, thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. We're in Salisbury, North Carolina, visiting Hood Theological Seminary. With me, Dr. Virgil Lattimore, talking about discipleship. So that was a great commission, making disciples, teaching them to obey. And, and here you guys are serious about good doctrine. Well, Jesus said, go into all the world. And, and what that means is going into the, all of the places, whether it be in the corporate room or into the, into the communities where persons are locked out or into prisons, or into, into the classrooms in our communities, um, even into the, um, you know, uh, even into the state house, right. where decisions are being made about the people's lives. Mm -hmm. So we want our, we, we prepare our students to go into all the world and to go and carry a message of hope and a message of redemption and a message of love. And we think that that's something that our society is certainly is sorely in need of. And we want our students to have the ability to not only work with the differences that exist on our campus, to using the campus as a kind of laboratory right. to explore and to challenge each other, and then to go into the communities and witness the fact that they have now been a part of, of, of a community that reflects the kingdom of God. And so now they can hopefully do that and replicate that in their own, in their own community. To be, that's what discipleship, you know, it's sort of like being a student and being a disciple, being a student of Christ, a follower of Christ, and we think that that's important uh, for persons to, to know and to be able to model, to model that. I'm thinking about Paul, how he told Timothy, you know, to be an approved worker of God and rightly dividing the word yeah. of truth. So I know you have a lot of classes that, that dig deep into the scriptures and to rethink what the scriptures mean, who they're written to, right. what was the intent when, of the letters yeah. and all that. Yeah. The meaning of those scriptures and the meaning, not just what they meant then, because that's one thing, but also what they mean now, what right. they mean in today's, um, in today's uh, experience and um, how does that word then empower them 
to go and make a difference. Mm -hmm. First of all, within themselves, mm -hmm. that they are changed, they're transformed, right. Right. and they can go and be, they said, I'm, I'm redeemed, therefore I'm always redeeming. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And uh, that's ultimately the goal is to know him more. I mean, we, you know, he's so beyond mm -hmm. finding out, <laughs> Paul yeah. says as yeah. well. But, and I heard that from some of the interviews from your students. They said, you know, come in here, uh, just that intimacy with God was increased. And I think ultimately that's yeah. the bottom it's line God, goal. Yeah, it's God and neighbor. I mean, it's right. love, you know, the, the two commandments. Love God above all things. Yeah. Love your neighbors yourself. And I think that's loving people that are different than you are. It becomes yeah. a challenge. Yeah. becomes a challenge. And you have a very diverse population here. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we, our students come from a variety of different walks of life. They've had different life experiences. And I like to, to think that you are talking about discipleship. Jesus, you know, Jesus didn't choose a kind of um, well-to-do group of folk. These were working class folk. They were professional fishermen, yeah. and they knew something about working together as a team. Yeah. So that's the other thing with our students. They learn to work together with people that are different, but they all have skills. They have skills that we kind of refocus so they can be used for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's effective discipleship mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. Keep watching. We're going to talk a little bit more with some of the staff, faculties, and students here at Hood Theological Seminary who have answered the call. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us. Thanks for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. We're at Hood Theological Seminary here in Salisbury, North Carolina, and with me is the president, Dr. Virgil Lattimore. So with a, a campus like this uh, and faculty, there's certainly opportunities for the body of Christ to get involved and support a ministry like this. Well, yeah. first of all, I think uh, persons out there can, first of all, pray for us. Pray for, for our, what we're doing. Go to our website, take a look at us. But also, if you're coming down Interstate 85, stop and take a look uh, and, and visit. This will look like the Holiday Inn, which is what it used to be, but it's a place of hospitality. We encourage persons to come and visit, come and, come and uh, have a meal with us. And of course, uh, if, if they feel so motivated, uh, certainly contribute uh, in, in any of our scholarships, uh, become supporters of us through giving. But most of all, uh, refer students to us. I mean, uh, ask, uh, bring prospective persons to come and see the campus to visit a class, to talk with staff, talk with faculty. We have a world-class faculty here um, that could uh, be at any, uh, teach at any uh, graduate school in the country, and uh, they come from a variety of schools. Uh, they're committed to, uh, committed to teaching here and for doing what we do here. So. We, we take great pride in what we do here, but we encourage uh, any persons who are out there who are interested in uh, investing yeah. in a quality uh, enterprise that's teaching uh, 21st century disciples to, uh, to take a look at us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the last couple of days, Annette and I have spent some time with a lot of your staff mm -hmm. and students, and uh, one professor said he drives two hours every day each way, passing four seminaries, so that says a lot why he's plugged in here serving. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there a well, question in there no, somewhere? No, no. well, so, that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's great, and that's commitment. <laughs> I think that... Uh, Professor uh, is delighted to be on a faculty such as ours, so yeah. it's it's like um, it's like going the extra mile to get to, you know to to get the extra plum. Right. So yeah. we we hope that it's it's not just it's a sacrifice of love right. and commitment, but it's also something that um, he, he's grateful to be to have been invited to join our faculty, and yeah. and so therefore it it. Um, it, it makes sense to, that, right. that, it, that he has that much time to think as he drives, right. drives past those other seminaries. Yeah. But, <laughs> so. you know, you and I talk about this uh, on the phone, actually. Uh, a lot of people understand the need to support the homeless shelters and the children's homes or mission-sending agencies. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, higher Christian education 
there is tuition involved, but we want to keep costs down so a lot of these folks are going into ministry without a lot of debt. Yeah, and, and, and that's one thing we've, we've been very committed to because a lot of our students, they may have come, come out of undergraduate school with debt. Mm-hmm. We're committed. We've probably, we've probably doubled the number of endowed scholarships that we've had of persons who have invested in giving significant support for theological students. Mm-hmm. And so what we, uh, we aim in, as we counsel with students about not borrowing so much money as they do this, Right. We, 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 we go to their churches and say, you know, you need to invest in, your, we're preparing your leader. Right. We hope that you'll invest in your, in your pastor, in your student pastor, in, yeah. your, in your exhorter to come and get a quality education. And we, we aren't, we're, we are, we say, well, I don't say we're cheaper. We're, we're, we're a better bargain than some of those other seminaries that, right. that, that, that whose tuitions are a little higher than ours. And we've been intentional in keeping our, our, um, our tuition modestly. We always balance our budget, um, and we, uh, we are a debt-free campus, and we try to stay that way. We, we run a pretty tight budget, but we also encourage our students to do the same thing, so yeah. we live within our means. Amen. That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Well, keep watching. We hope you feel the nudge from the Holy Spirit to partner and get involved and even pray for this ministry as God is uh, certainly using them to answer the call to shine a light and make disciples. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us. I want to thank our viewers one last time for watching this episode of Answering the Call. And Dr. Lattimore, thank you again for letting Annette and I help capture the story of what God's doing here on the campus. You have a great team. Well, thank you. We feel blessed and fortunate. I feel blessed and fortunate to to have retired two times to come here (laughs) and uh, spend uh, hopefully uh, some quality uh, quality years here, uh, trying to lift up, lift up what we think is a good, a good, uh, a good work. Amen. Yeah. Well, you're certainly called. I'm glad you answered. I'd love well, an opportunity you. to pray with you and our thank viewers you. watching. Ask God to continue to bless our ministry. Father God, Lord Jesus, you are awesome and mighty and holy, and we thank you for Hood Theological Seminary. Thank you for the trustees, the faculty, staff, and all the students that have been here over the years and have been sent out, and those that are being equipped now that are even in full-time ministry. We pray for your provision and your protection, wisdom from above as you raise them up, Lord, for such a time as this. And we thank you for allowing us to partner together in the gospel with our viewers watching. We just ask you to bless it all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Well, until our next episode of Answering the Call, may you and your families be blessed. (laughs) 